choice but to embark on this perilous journey. Hello, I'm Harry Collette. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Carmel Aniardo. And we're going to be interviewing our co-stars on Fandango. What in the hoot nanny is going on? You're going to interview us? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling about that? Good. Yeah, yeah good. Good. Mm -hmm. okay. I've been waiting for this moment my whole life. Really? Who'd like to begin? <laughs> I, I might as well go. <laughs> this one's for Robert. Oh, um, perfect. You've had such an iconic film career. What was it about this project, project that made you say, I need to be a part of this? Um, well, first of all, we, as I've said, and as you guys will see when we come hang out, we're surrounded by animals, cows, alpacas, goats, pigs, chickens, cats. <laughs> uh, we just got Bunnies. a rabbit. What kind of rabbit is it? A lion head rabbit? Yeah. Lion, yeah. yeah. Named like Jasper. Jasper. <laughs> it was going to um, be fluffy, and then it became Jasper right. somehow. Well, as it happened, it was great, because we got to meet y'all. And it's a, an adventure film, but it's period. It's live action, but then there's all the animals and animation. So we, we like a challenge and an adventure, and this was both. So this is a question for Robert and Susan. Um, a lot of this I'll film... I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was going to say Robert again. I'm like, really? <laughs> um, a lot of this film is you having conversations with your friends who happen to be animals. If you guys could ask your pets one question, what would it be? Oh, jeez. I've got it. I would ask oh. Monty, why did you wake Mrs. Downey up every morning at 5.30. <laughs> and how can we fix this? I would do a side deal with him. Uh -huh. So I would probably ask D'Artagnan, Dart, our other cat. Um, Monty's brother. Yeah, I would be like, I, I just want to know if he's happy because you cannot read that cat at all. He's a tough read. He's a tough read and he seems really shy, but I actually think like in a street fight, he'd take down any other cat, but he seems like fluffy and nice and all that. So I just... Yeah. It's a simple thing. Do you he's just a want sleeping to know? Are dragon. Are you happy? <laughs> I just want to make sure he's happy. Yeah. I'm so glad you got that out, hon. <laughs> <laughs> so this one's also for Robert. Um, how were you able to connect and visualize the animals that were being portrayed? <laughs> well, as you were, I mean, you were up against it as, as much as <laughs> anyone. I can ask you that. <laughs> um, well, and Carmel as well. There were animal actors as well as every other reference you could have, and so there was a team of people dressed in green suits who were really going for it <laughs> and was sometimes so helpful and sometimes I just felt so awkward too yeah. because past a certain point in the day you're like I'm just gonna look there and do this but they're still dressed in green in there but and the thing is a lot of these folks are really highly trained actors that were coming off Star Wars and they're coming they're all like amazing folks but uh, it's that it's that ability to to pretend you know mm -hmm. which is half of what we're doing Anyway. This next one is for Susan. Ah, oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> Which of the cast members surprised you the most with their portrayal of their voice and their character? Oh, that's a good question. Um, surprised me the most, I would say probably Rami, hmm. I would think. Because the other ones, I had such a clear idea of, of like why we cast them and then they delivered always better than I could have even imagined <laughs> but like like we wanted this feisty squirrel so you get Craig Robinson of course and we want this duck with like a lot of energy and like kind of like you don't know what she's gonna say next and and a little goofy and so Octavia nailed it but with Chi Chi we just we love Rami we're such big fans of his and we knew we wanted to be working with him and we knew that Chi Chi and Doolittle had a special bond and he adores Rami so we were like let's Let's do that, but Rami as a gorilla, I, that I didn't know what that was going to be cast against type. Like. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so I think for, for that's probably the one that, that surprised me the most. That was a really good answer. Let me give you a little smooch for that one. Come here. <laughs> Keep going. Doing so well. Five okay. for me Thanks. now. So I've got another one for Robert. Oh, good. <laughs> so you played Sherlock Holmes and now Doolittle. Yeah. What classic character would you like to portray next? Oh, boy. I don't know, we were toying around with the idea of doing like a, a musical comedy about Sir Walter Raleigh, who was kind of a ne'er-do-well and, and all that stuff. Um, I should probably take a break from Brits for a minute, just because <laughs> it would seem like I, I've run out of moves. Um, yeah, I'll get back to you on that. Thank you. <laughs> a well-articulated, I don't know. Yeah. And this next one's also for Robert. Oh, good. Um, I'll pass it off. <laughs> Since you didn't get to voice an animal in this film, what animal would you like to play if you got to decide? Right. 
God, that's really good. I would like to be a swarm of insects. Um, <laughs> Uh, because that way I could make up for the fact that I didn't get to do a single animal voice on this, so I could do, you know, thousands. Really what they would do is they would take my voice and they would just repeat it. I would be harmonizing with myself. It would be like a chorus. Yeah. Why didn't you give me that opportunity, producer? <laughs> Next time. Okay. Yeah. Next time. Another one for a bit. Yes. Uh, all right. What was it like teaming up with Tom Holland again? Huh. Pretty great. I mean... We love a bit of Tom, don't we? We do, <laughs> yeah. Did a great job with the, um, with playing Jip, but also I think a lot of people are just comforted by the fact that they were hearing our voices again after uh, the events in the Marvel Universe in the springtime. <laughs> <laughs> like in case we don't have to be reminded that what happens on a movie screen isn't real. Uh, Although he did his British accent for our movie. Oh, that's right. Yeah, and there was talk of that. Originally, he was going to do Cockney, then he was doing British, and then at the last minute, like, they're like, wait, wait, should he do American? And we're like, no, yeah. like, let him. His Tom Holland accent was exceptional in this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was Thank too you. easy. <laughs> Love it. So you guys are going to do a talk show now, aren't you? You're taking, you're taking meetings cool. out here. <laughs> That'd be cool. Yeah. You can talk to animals. <laughs> Michael, yes. Um, since you didn't get to voice an animal for this film, mm -hmm. if there was an animal you'd like to voice, which one would it be? Oh, um, I uh, I see a lot of sheep back in Wales, where I come from. So maybe I would uh, I would like to voice a sheep. I think I feel a spiritual connection. Yeah. And this is for John and Craig. How were you all able to connect with the animals you voiced in this film, and where did the inspiration for their voices come from? I slept in the park for three days <laughs> and uh, just kind of learned the ways of the squirrel. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds pretty cool. Um, we, when we went in to record, you know how this goes, you collaborating with the, uh, the producer and a, and a director, and uh, it was a lot of improv and, you know, going over the lines and figuring out where this character's going. And we found out that Kevin was, uh, you know, all about revenge. And uh, so we based a lot of the humor there. Yoshi's a complicated dude. <laughs> embrace he the Yosh. You got it. He's, I mean, I'm, I'm telling everybody to kind of embrace the Yosh because he's a, uh, a polar bear, yet he's cold, but at the same time, he's this uh, big, assuming creature that's really loving and in search of friends and uh, is very in tune to the sense of community. So I, mm -hmm. I kind of dug that, and I think very similar with uh, Craig's experience, you have an outlying theme like, okay, uh, Kevin is out for revenge. Yoshi, Yoshi is all about friendship and positivity. Mm -hmm. And it's just a simple word like that that um, dictates your demeanor, how you deliver the lines. Just a simple piece of advice of he's a positive character. It changes the whole thing. And he's so funny as well. Oh, well, well thank you. I th my <laughs> favorite character is Kevin the Squirrel. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I appreciate his journey. <laughs> this is a question for all of you. Um, a lot of the film takes place on a boat. Out of all of you, who would be the best captain? Oh, not me. <laughs> no, no, I feel like you would be. No, I'd, I'd probably be good at following orders, but I don't, I don't, is the poop deck still what I think it is? <laughs> yeah. Well, if it's a boat full of animals, you know. Uh, exactly, <laughs> exactly. No, it wouldn't be me. Uh, I don't know. Are you good at sea? Good with water? I'm, I'm good with water. Yes, yeah. so I'd be better at the, as the entertainment. Okay, so if it was a cruise, yeah, if it was cruise, you could be in a cruise entertainment. Game on. Okay. So I think by default it's you. By default. I guess, but yeah. yes. Yeah. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> I'm right. the captain. So they're just making sheep noises. <laughs> so uh, we do have a lot of pirates in this movie. If you got approached by pirates, who would be the first to run away out of all of you? <laughs> I'd want to join up. I'd get my parrot on my shoulder and uh, practice my uh, R's. I'd do a bit of that. Hmm. I'll stand wonder. behind John. Yeah, that's probably a good point. Mm -hmm. I would run. Fast. <laughs> or as fast as I could. I run really unorthodox. It's not. <laughs> but yeah, I'd run away. So there are so many different animals in this movie. What were some of the most interesting animal facts you learned while making this film? Ooh. If you learn any. <laughs> wow. I had an interesting scene with, uh, with, a, with a, 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 an octopus in a tank. 
Oh, yeah. And they are fascinating creatures. Mm -hmm. I saw a, I saw, have you seen that video of an octopus like getting into a little bottle thing? Like the, they can the, get the, into the, tiny the, the spaces. Thing, yeah. And yeah. they're huge. So that was, uh, that was kind of interesting. The world of octopi. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I, believe, I believe it is scientific fact that squirrels live most of their life uh, with a, a sense of revenge. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> of course. Fact. <laughs> yeah. So obviously this film's all about a voyage. If you had to go on a really long voyage, what snack would you take on it? <laughs> Ooh. That's a good question. <laughs> so many things going through my mind. What snack would you take? What snack? Well, if it was a long voyage, you'd have to have something that would take a long time to eat. What are those things that, that those, um, uh, like, meaty... Things that take forever to eat the beef the, jerky. Is it that? Yeah, beef jerky, something like that, maybe. Hmm. I would take a charcuterie plate. I was nice. going to say a wheel of cheese. So if you combine yeah. the both, that's a charcuterie plate. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Cheese and meat and, and some crackers. Spreads. Bon voyage. Yeah, spreads. Some mustard. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then yeah. we have a buffet. <laughs> <laughs> this film is all about a voyage and a long journey. So, what was the longest trip or adventure you guys have ever been on? I, I, d I once flew to um, New Zealand. Wow. And it's such a long flight. You it can't is. do it in one go. You have to keep stopping all the time. And I remember we had to stop at a few different airports. And because of the time difference, I watched the sun come up three times. Oh, that's actually. Which was kind of amazing. Yeah, that's really cool. It's like being in a sci fi movie wow. or something. So that was quite a long one. I just watched The Irishman. <laughs> <laughs> well, you win. <laughs> Shouldn't even give a story. <laughs> Very good. Just, just a little while. Just a little while. Very good. I drove across country. Oh, wow. Yeah, a couple times. I drove uh, both uh, east and west. I drove from Los Angeles to Boston and then from uh, Boston to Florida. Boston to Miami. So, those are fun. One of my favorite voyages. Have you ever done the Coastal Starlight Tour, the train from LA? all the way up the coast no. it goes up to Seattle and then goes on into Canada and oh, it wow. takes like a few days wow. and you can sleep on the train oh that's amazing that's mm. a great voyage I would highly recommend it. so thank you guys so much yeah, for doing you. this interview thank, thank you. you and go watch Doolittle in cinemas January 17th yep you should go see